So I am off to Canada tomorrow afternoon, my flight is, which is terrifying. Um, but I'm just trying to get all my last things together. I need to weigh all my cases. Um, so I thought I'd show you what I'm bringing and we'll see how much everything weighs. I've spent most of the day moving stuff from case to case, going, this one's too heavy. I'll put this one thing in here and then I put this in. It absolutely, it's been mental. I've, I've taken stuff out. I've taken, thrown stuff away. I've decided I'm not taking it at all. I've moved stuff from cases into cases into cases into backpacks into vacuums bags. It's been a process today, um, but I think we're pretty much there. So let's see what stuff weighs. Okay, so just for context, this is what I'm taking. Um, I have already pre-sent a box over, which is currently in customs somewhere in Canada. Um, so that may get there before I do. It may get there after I do. It doesn't matter too much. It's not got super important things in it. It's just stuff that wouldn't fit in a suitcase. <laughs> a little bit more kind of homewares stuff. So I have my trusty backpack. Uh, which was a wonderful Christmas present from uh, Ovation of the Seas. I've put all my cool pin badges on there that I picked up. My lovely Guernsey patch that was given to me by my friend Lottie. And I've got all my little my little guys on the side here. I've got my Charmander. Uh, my Anxious the Elephant from when I went to Haven that one time. Uh, a Tigger I've had for years and years and years from the original Disney stores. And my little Scrat. They go, them guys go with me everywhere. And you can see I've got a variety of pin badges on there. Um, and then... I've got this little case, which should be, this is going to be my carry-on, so this should be 10 kilos. And then I've got these two, one is a small one, one is a large one, but there's, I've added this as an extra bag. So they could be both each 23 kilos, which is 50 pounds for anyone watching elsewhere. Uh, I'm not sure what 10 is, let's be honest. So I'm going to see if I can do this one-handed. Bear with. Put that through there. So as I said, this one should be 10 kilos. I think I'm pretty good. I have spent most of the day doing this, as I said. Another Christmas gift from Ovation of the Seas, as you can see. Uh, let's, if I can get it to zero. Come on, there you go. Right, test. Ooh. Oh, this is difficult with one hand. 1076. Well, let's just hope they'll be nice to me with that one. It's not even a kilogram over, so. I should be okay. I did just zero zero this. Come on. Um, this guy is top heavy, so I'm having to just support it with my knees just while I'm holding it here. Uh, this is allowed to be 23. It doesn't want to stay zeroed. Come on. There we go. This is allowed to be 23 kilos. Let's see. Oh, this is really difficult with one hand. Oh, my God. <laughs> 18. Okay. So that one was 18, 19 something. It was actually quite difficult to put it with one hand. So not overweight. Uh, I haven't really got any space in it to put anything else in. Let's see what the big one weighs. Bear with. Nineteen or twenty. It's just difficult with one hand. I can do it a little bit more accurately. Got my Canada tag on here, ready to go. And um, yeah, I think that's gonna have to be it. So the plan is to leave tomorrow for the airport. Um, we were going to leave around nine-ish uh, in the morning, but I did receive a text slash email slash notification from Iceland Air, which is who I'm flying with. Uh, both flights I have are with Iceland Air. Initially, the first flight is Manchester to Keflavik in Iceland, and then there is a flight from Keflavik to Toronto. Um, so I got, an, as I said, I got a notification from them today. Uh, a couple of hours ago saying that the flight time from Manchester has now changed. Uh, it was meant to be five past one. It's now something like 20 past two, which isn't the worst thing that could happen. It's it's in, it's not inconvenient. It's an extra hour. So I we're probably going to leave here a little bit later than we were talking about. And... I'm just hoping that I and my cases make the connection because um, we were the time we were originally meant to land at, I had about two hours, two hours 15 in Keflavik Airport before my flight to Toronto. So now I have one hour and 15, which for me isn't a problem. Um, I had a look at Keflavik's website and it looks like flights going from and coming from the UK and Canada and US is included as well are going well, of the same area. There's a, there's a certain gates area and they're all together. 
so that's really good so I shouldn't have to walk too far to get to my next gate I don't have to recheck my bags or go through any kind of customs or anything like that if I was flying from mainland Europe it looks like I would have done uh, but I think the fact the UK aren't in the EU has possibly helped there for once so yay Brexit um, <laughs> first time anybody has said that ever uh, so we'll get hopefully have enough time I'll definitely get through myself I'm not worried about me as I said unless we're more delayed when we take off and in the flight time and such like that I can't see that happening unless something else happens uh, more worried about the cases getting through um, and them not making it all the way through to Toronto by tomorrow evening um, I've done everything I can to stop that I've got Apple Air tags in both of the cases I'm checking in as I said one staying going to try and stay with me as I carry on hand luggage I know sometimes they do make you check them in as well uh, I'm going to try and avoid that see if I can keep it with me and we'll just have to see how we go um, I read somewhere that it's a good idea to take photos before you leave of your cases just so if someone if they do get separated from me I can describe it without I can really show them what it looks like rather than just going oh it's blue because everyone's case is blue all mine are sort of greeny blue actually as well I just noticed which is crazy um so that's the plan for tomorrow so we're gonna just play it by ear and head to Manchester in the morning um, there might be several videos tomorrow or just one massive one that I might post once I get safely to the apartment where John is. Um, we'll just have to see and play it by ear. Uh, so keep everything crossed and um, yeah, we'll see how we go. Let's do this. <laughs> 